everyone welcome back to my channel so first of all I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who who subscribed to my channel already and everyone who liked my Facebook page I really appreciate thank you so I really appreciate thank you so much uh, yeah so today as you saw in the title I want to talk to you guys about how to set goals so as you know we're in January uh, first month of the year so everybody is talking about setting goals and having new resolution resolution for the new year and today I just want to give you guys some advice to how to do that and why you should do that and how you how maybe you can make them more achievable all right so first of all why is it important to have new goals I don't think that you need um, especially new goals when at the beginning of a new year and it's just that most of the time new year equals new start new beginning etc so I feel like during the year whatever month you can set yourself new goals um, new resolutions but yeah when you start the year uh, I feel like having new goals make uh, gives you more motivation towards what you want to achieve in life so why is it important are you asking me um, there's different areas in your life where it's important I feel like you to set some new goals so you have health and fitness uh, sport if you're an athlete because I feel like health and fitness is kind of different you want to train you want to do your stuff uh, being healthy being in good shape uh, keep going to the gym but if you're an athlete you need specific stuff like uh, sports type psychology you need to train um, at your specific place in your sport so for myself it's two different areas I have relationship family uh, you can also have financial um, yeah money area so these are the main one for me that I like to set goals in I feel that it's really important to have goals just because it makes you go towards what you really want in life I kind of feel it's important to um, have something you want to achieve you want to improve to make yourself better to be a better person to be healthier so little stuff like that that's why I think setting goals is important second part uh, how to set goals because unfortunately most of the time um, when you set goals in January by February they will be you know done <laughs> like you don't think about them anymore or you have no more motivation towards them so it's kind of sad I feel and that's why I wanted to talk about that today because I want to give you guys some advices about how to make your goals achievable and how to help you making them more achievable so the first thing is you have to make your goals smart what I mean by that is your goals need to be specific measurable achievable uh, realistic and set in time specific you need to know what you want for sure so for example you want to lose weight you cannot just say I want to lose weight this is too global this is you know you don't really know what you want you can lose one pound well you lost weight so good job you know but what do you want really you want to lose five pounds ten pounds twenty pounds you need to know exactly what you want you're an athlete you want to be faster but how much faster okay you want to improve a new skill but which skill you want to improve you know you really need to be specific in what you want so this way you really know where you're going second is measurable so when you're setting a goal you need to be able to measure it what I mean by that is example uh, you want to lose weight you need to well weight yourself to know how much weight you want to lose and when I say weight yourself weight, your, weight yourself it's not only on the scale but try the um, bio impedance scale I don't know if you heard about that before but uh, instead of only taking you know only um, giving you your total weight it gives you uh, the weight of your muscles weight of fat uh, your hydration gives you a lot of information so I feel like you have a better start with that than just knowing how much you weigh so this is the first way to measure your goal if you want to lose power you need to know how much exactly and you need a way to uh, to measure it to know if you're making progression towards it uh, you're doing a specific sport you want to be uh, faster 
you have to be able to measure how fast you want to be and be able you know to see it so you know if you made progression towards it the third one um, is achievable so you need step to be able to achieve your goal because it's just if you say I want to lose weight but you have no plan it's kind of hard you need to know which step you have to take to achieve this goal so you need to lose weight all right you want to lose five pounds okay so you need a specific training you need uh, to train that much you know two times a week to start with three times a week afterwards you need to check what you're eating so there's different thing different step you can um, <clears throat> find to achieve your goal the fourth one is realistic so you have to set and this one I think is the most imp one of the most important because you have to know that are you able to achieve this goal is it re uh, realistic to set yourself this goal and what I mean by that is you want to start working out are you gonna say all right I'm starting right now it's gonna be six times a week it's gonna be intense but you're working like so much when are you gonna be able to do six times a week you know if you've never worked out before it's even less realistic so you start slowly first to you know get into it two times a week three times a week and slowly going if you want to to four times five times six times a week if you can but start with something realistic it's really important in your sport same thing if you want to um, new uh, learn new skills you cannot say I want to learn like 10 new skills by you know in a week you have to start with something and just go um, towards other start with something realistic and the last one is set a time set a deadline set a time where you know you want to achieve this goal by so example I'm gonna lose five pounds by May my this by May this year I want to improve a new skill in my sport by uh, May as well I want to do that it's important to set a deadline a limit time so this way you don't you know just put the <laughs> just talk about your goal I don't know when it's gonna happen but doesn't matter if you give yourself a timeline it's gonna be you're gonna have more chance to achieve it and by this time you're like you're gonna be way more happy if you do it so these are the five uh, step to set a good um, goal in my opinion and I'm pretty sure you heard about it so I just want to give you more advice about it last thing I want to talk about because this video is already it's already really long but I'm sure you're gonna appreciate uh, last thing is if you're setting yourself some fitness goal two things I want to talk about first of all I will really I will highly recommend you to uh, work with either a trainer or a kinesiologist I know I am one it's a little bit why I'm talking uh, to you about it but it I feel like it's really important to have a person with you because first of all set realistic goals and it help you uh, make a program that will be specific to you and this way it will be easier for you to follow it and another thing is if you set goals with this person you know that you have more chance to do it because you know this person will push you to do it because he knows what you want so it'll be like you have to do it it's gonna push you a little bit and I think sometimes I think that sometimes this is what we need a little push because if you're all by yourself who will know that you didn't do it you know if this person is there with you it will probably help you the second thing if you want to find a good coach you really have to do your research okay I could do a whole video about this topic so if this is something that interests you well just tell me in the comments but it's important to find a good coach because these days everybody well a lot of people will tell will say that they are like fitness coach or fitness you know uh, trainers so you have to pay attention find someone that you're comfortable with and that will help you towards what you want to accomplish and that is a professional and I would say it just I mean there's a there are in here some really good codes that are super good not only kinesiologists but kinesiologists are good too some trainers some coaches are good too so just pick the one that you know that what they're saying is true and that you feel comfortable with so yeah that's it guys I hope that you like this video it's a bit bigger and a bit longer than the other one but yeah it's a really big topic 
and I just want to share with you all my thoughts about it. So thank you guys for being here and I hope to see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>